After Edson Barbosa delivered this punch, it would be nearly five full seconds before the full effect set in and Shane Burgos went down. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. Let's get right into looking at what happened here. You guys know what to do if you enjoy the videos and want to help support the channel. At 3.53 left in the third round, Barbosa delivered two punches here. First this left, followed by the quick right, and those punches certainly were hard enough to cause a knockout. But Burgos doesn't even look phased. You can see he's kind of bouncing here. He's still got some pep in his step. Doesn't seem like this has affected him at all until we get down to nearly five seconds later when he starts to move backwards and stumbles and then he ultimately went down. This is a perfect example of why concussions can be so tricky because not everybody responds to them the exact same way. During these four to five seconds, a cascade of events is taking place within Burgos's brain that ultimately are accumulating to the point where it caused him to go down. This is a representation of what goes on whenever we have a concussion. And essentially the brain, as we've discussed, floats around in this spinal fluid. And as you get punched, as the head suddenly jars, that brain continues to move and basically slams into the inside of the skull, which causes this cascade of events that lead to a knockout and loss of consciousness. And that's what we have to remember here. It's a cascade of events or a series of changes that occur after the injury that ultimately accumulate on one another to cause the end result. Most of the time this takes place very quickly, but as we can see here with Burgos, it really can be a delayed response. Now this severe of a delayed response is not gonna be as common. So yeah, this is a rare thing that we aren't gonna see that often in terms of how delayed this actually was with that full four to five seconds. Structurally inside the brain, whenever you have a concussion, you can actually get tearing and damage of the actual neurons that send these signals throughout our brain to allow it to function. The other thing that can happen initially is this massive depolarization where all these neurons that are originally relying on this electrical charge to communicate information suddenly in an instant have this mass depolarization where they all sort of want to reset themselves. But that's just the initial step. This triggers that cascade of events that lead ultimately to the concussion. Like I said, this involves damage to the actual nerve cells. This involves massive release and dumping of neurotransmitters, things like dopamine, glutamate, things that are allowing those signals to pass through in the brain suddenly get dumped and flooded into the brain all at once. That massive flood of neurochemicals is part of what causes those prolonged symptoms and concussion. But I want you to understand here is a knockout or a concussion is not just a single boom, it happened, like a broken bone or a torn ACL. It's this series of events that usually happens much more quickly, but yeah, can be delayed and every case is individually different. So as we're going through this, that left comes in, boom, right there, we've already caused some initial trauma to the brain and then that right comes in and causes that kind of final straw with the trauma. And during this whole sequence here, when Burgos is still looking like he's gonna do okay, all of those changes, all of that cascade of events are taking place within his brain that are accumulating and building up as the seconds go by. Your brain is really darn complex. Like I said, it's not like a bone that is either broken or not broken. There's a lot that's going on within the cells of the brain, the electrical charges within those cells, the neurochemicals that are sending signals back and forth. And it's a complex process in terms of what's actually going on in the brain when somebody gets knocked out. But there's nothing about this that's like, oh, there was some different injury or his anatomy is different or there's something unique that's really strange and odd. This is just a knockout that took longer to manifest. And why exactly that is, I can't tell you. And I would challenge any doctor to tell you exactly why this particular punch took five seconds to have full effect versus another one that is more instantaneous. I can postulate that some more of those neurochemical changes, kind of those subsequent events were what really led to ultimately the symptoms of that unsteadiness and loss of balance as opposed to the initial hard, sudden, massive depolarization that turns the lights out, so to speak. But I have no way of knowing that with 100% certainty. That's just piecing things together with what we understand about how concussions occur. In summary, what I want you to take away from this video is that as these first couple of punches come in here, that's starting this whole sequence of events that's going to ultimately lead to the knockout. As Burgos is stumbling around here, initially looking okay, everything is starting to evolve and change within his brain as the result of that impact 
that's causing this accumulation of negative effects that ultimately cause them to go down. Concussions and knockouts are all very different, and so in most cases, this sequence of events is going to occur much more rapidly, but as we saw here with Burgos, can definitely take a longer period of time to manifest. There's nothing strange or abnormal about him or that specific punch. This is just the challenge sometimes of medicine. So that's it for the video. I wish I could give you a more like exact, this is the weird thing that's going on, or this is 100% certainty, why this exact punch was hitting in a different spot. I can't, but it is a good example of the complexity and variety we see with head injuries. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.